greatest place in the world. We're going in. Yes, friends, it is true. We are IKEA shopping today. I don't have any kids with me. What in the world? This is what I was seeing in my head. I actually, I got my table off of Amazon already. But here's what it is at Ikea. Okay, this is what I am here for. Beds. That is the one I wanted to get for Daniel and Benjamin. Isn't that cute? Okay, this is the big one we've been looking at. But what I don't like is it's now saying it's for order only, so I'm gonna have to ask about that. I also like this, see we like the, the shelves. That's why we were liking it. And the desk that's included, we are saved. The nice gentleman helped me, whoops, 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 running into things, um, look up things and made me a list for downstairs. So it's all gonna work out. This is what Daniel and Benny are officially getting. They've been talking all about their bunk beds. I know I'm right back where I was before, but since this gentleman helped me, I'll show you officially what we're getting. So this one was my backup plan. This one is the one that we're getting. I'm getting it with just open, open shelves here, shelves here, and this way every kid's gonna have like their own little world under their bed. Just sounds like fun to me. See, I'm gonna buy everyone good beds or decent beds, but I don't wanna spend like $70 for a chair. We do have wood chairs they can use. I like these little simple ones. Okay, white. Okay, this will be it. Okay, got my info written down. We're saved. $25 chairs. Yay. Okay, and then all the super cute kids room stuff. Everyone, I saw these. Everyone wanted these. I don't know if it's going to hang on the side, though, of those loft beds. You know what? I don't think they will. Don't think they will. No, we're getting somewhere. They will. It's just like a little metal hanger. I was thinking it might have to snap or something. I think that will work. All of these are cute. So this is what they look like. You get a three pack. Also this freestanding toy bag looks cute. We're analyzing rugs. Now I just have to make it through the kitchen items and some other little sections that they have and we can finally get our beds and go. getting overwhelmed with the bedding choices, so I may not leave with bedding today. So there's little shoe trays. I like it because it gives a designated spot and we're learning new places. Okay, so now hopefully I can find help with all of my bedroom, my huge bedroom furniture order. Fingers crossed. Okay, so you start throwing stuff around and you end up getting help. So I got some help. Here's half my stuff loaded. So now I'm piecing this little stuff together myself. Next thing, if I'm reading this right, I need 20 of these for the loft beds. Okay, I'm skipping. I'm skipping this organizing thing. Uh, my other cart's full. Can't get anyone to um, get those for me and mama's done so I'm gonna skip those I have my mama done voice I probably have my mama done voice for the chair too so we got this big cart got the heart cart ahead and they're supposed to load my beds for me okay so here's a bunch of our stuff but we're still waiting for the four big loft beds I do have an excellent gentleman helping me load all this heavy stuff and I appreciate that Ikea finally got the circus tent we've always needed for the house okay so now I have four carts full of loft beds waiting for more loading help. Help is on the way. So I had excellent, excellent help getting everything loaded in the back of the van. That's what I needed, Ikea. Thanks so much. 
So now we are gonna find some Chinese food for dinner and uh, see what other kind of trouble we can get into. Maybe no trouble at all, maybe just a little. Okay, we are home and Liam and I just built the circus tent. <laughs> <We're>, woo! <laughs> all the fun, yay! Well, it is a brand new day, I will tell you, and you could probably tell in my video clips yesterday, I was super tired. I had stayed up late the night before, of course, doing a ton, I think I did 40 some freezer meals. And so yesterday at Ikea, I did get some sleep and that was our day. We had like our childcare lined up and everything. So we did it and it was fun and we were victorious and we got those beds. Um, what was happening, I couldn't, I didn't tell like the story when I was there vlogging it. When I had gone up to um, the, the person who is supposed to be the helper, if you haven't been to Ikea, oh. and I've only been like four times, maybe I'm wrong, but in my past experiences, I thought even though things are self-serve, if you need help with extremely heavy things, there's people there to help you with those things. So I didn't think a thing about going in to Ikea myself. Um, or bring in other help with me because I figure, well, surely when I go to buy these six huge beds and a wardrobe and all these different, sorry, Benjamin, you gonna sing to us? Oh, you say, oh, McDonald had a farm, buck buck here? Nope, okay, nope, Mr. Nope. No chickens, okay, yes chickens? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I figured I could take my big list and my full cart and I of course could go and gather the smaller things on my own but I just thought that I'd be able to get help uh, getting things getting like those Billy bookshelves let me tell you what had happened there okay so I went up to the person working there who's at the computer I showed them my list and I said now I understand the loft beds I have to pay for and they'll get them for me out of the back I said but here I have a bed I have a Billy bookshelf case, I have a desk, I have a wardrobe, um, and then I was gonna also try to get these other shelf things for like toy organization. And that person just told me, get yourself a flat cart, go do it yourself. You might get some help at some point is the long story short of it, okay? And I thought, hmm, okay, so, they were just, the helpers were moving on with their own stuff and no one was coming to help me. Yeah. So I got myself a flat cart and I thought, okay, fine. I'm a warrior mama. I'll just flip this yeah. stuff off the shelves on my own and maybe someone will see me struggling and come and help me. So that's what proceeded to happen. I happened to be at the Billy Bookshelves, which was the, was the heaviest thing. There was a worker down at the end. The other worker had motion like they were telling that person to help me, but like I said, then again, everyone went off and just go get your own flat cart lady. So I thought, that's fine. So I lined up that cart. I see the last worker who knew I needed help but walked on by me. I take the flat cart, I push it up to the, book, to the Billy Book shelves and I thought, as long, you know, if I can push it off of here, I can push it off into the cart. And that's what I proceeded to do. Well, it made a loud crash. The cart went flying, I went running after it. I'm like, yeehaw, I can ride this pony. The worker who had walked past me then came back and helped me. It was amazing. And him and I went down my list with the next heaviest item and he helped me load the rest of the things on that cart. And I appreciate that Ikea worker. And then at the end, whenever I went to, so me walking through the store, I wish I could have get vlogging footage of this, but I had that cart cart, that flatbed cart full of things, and then I had the other cart and I just walked in the middle of them all the way out. So whenever I went to have them in the furniture pickup area, oh, very nice, mm-hmm. When I went to have them in the furniture pickup area bring out the loft beds, now they brought, fetch, fetch, fetch. oh yeah, oh, fetch. He likes to play fetch, you want fetch? <gasps> Go get it, puppy. Go get it. Um, Okay, furniture pickup area. I had already paid for the beds. I had to go show them my receipt so they would get the four loft beds ready. Every bed has six boxes. So they're gonna be massive. Fetch! Hope the kids love them. We're gonna be building them. Um, so whenever I went down there, I told him, I said, look, now, 
I'm gonna need help getting all this loaded into my van. So there was a wonderful fellow and he came out, he helped me load that cart and then about 15, 20 minutes later they had four more flat bed carts for me with six boxes each for those loft beds. Him and another person went out and I told him, I was like, uh, cause you know at Walmart you, you can't tip, you can't tip the workers um, whenever they do the grocery pickup order and such, at least that's how it's been up until this point from my knowledge. But I love to tip people, I love help. I love people helping me. So when those when those guys came to the van and they were loading, I was like, am I allowed to give you guys a tip? And, the, and he said, oh yeah, that would be fine. I said, no problem. So Travis gave me some money. I went and got a Diet Pepsi so I could get some change. The one helper would not take the tip. They told me to give it all to this main guy. So the main guy got a tip and I felt good about tipping him and he worked hard and I appreciated that. And then we got home last night. Um, oh, Benjamin, oh yeah, we got home last night. We had some help with all of our unloading. Before I end this video, I wanna do a little haul, show you everything that we got, show you at least the boxes for now. And then the video coming out after this will be us at least getting this party started and making all this stuff. Tons of loft bed pieces. Uh, another piece, and this will show you, this is the, okay, this is the bed that I got, and the part number, that's what it looks like. Can you go upside down there? So there's the ladder that climb up, and the shelves, and the desk, and the desk like I showed yesterday can go a couple different positions. Um, the one that I got, I got it just so it's gonna be open, it's gonna be open shelving, but shelves down both sides, the ladder to climb up, and then the desk. There's the desk pieces, but I got the desk um, with the drawers open-faced as well. I just liked how that looked better. I didn't necessarily like all the color choices with the cabinets, just personal preference, and I thought kids would enjoy displaying Lego creations and stuff. Um, there's all the shelves that go with all the loft beds, just, so many, I guess we got 24 boxes that are loft beds alone. Um, those are the slats for Zion's bed. Zion got a bed, a wardrobe, a desk. There was something else, let me say that again. A <laughs> bed, wardrobe, desk, oh, and a set of Billy bookcases. And so and then yes, and then of course we got our circus tent, super appropriate. And then, I just saw over here by the organ, I got, it's just the time of year. I mean, I thought they could put these on the deck. They can put these in the basement. This little camper is bigger than the circus tent. They keep wanting to build the camper and I'm just telling them, no, no, we're gonna just get a bunch of uh, enjoyment out of the circus tent. We'll have that built in a few days. We obviously have a lot to build before us. I'm glad we haven't done couches or anything yet in the living room because doing bedrooms right now. So with these smaller things, this is just the paper, I'm um, sorry, the plastic bag, little plastic bag holder. And I usually keep plastic bags in a big bag, but I thought, well, okay, now in the laundry room, I can have a dispenser for that. Got two new toilet brush cleaners, or toilet cleaner brushes. Um, I think we have the original ones from this house. So time for those to go be with Jesus. Um, with the toy organizations stuff that I got, I really wanted to get this set of shelves that had the plastic bins that pulled out, but I was just like, overwhelmed and done by the time this was being loaded and I skipped those for this time. But still, I got, this is six of these bins total. I got this and um, just looks like a toy box. I got two of these little jungle themed toy bags and then two of these. I mean, I'm thinking a whole lot of Daniel and Benjamin. I know other kids need some bins and boxes too. I got, I thought I got a fifth one. Did I? No, I didn't get one for Daniel in Benjamin's bed, but I certainly can get them some next time. We'll try them on them. I figured these would fit on the four new loft beds. And if the little boys on their set have room, then great. Two more packs of these cups. We have lots of plates left, some of the bowls. I should have got more of this, the little, uh, I call it silverware, but the little plasticware cutlery. Should have got more of that because the younger kids do enjoy that. I think we only have two or three of these cups left. Where did they go? I don't know, but um, 
got more of those. And then these are reusable bags. So these looked pretty helpful just so I can um, train everybody on reusing the bags. And these were big too, let me show you this. So this is like eight quart bag size. I think they got, yeah, five quart and six quart. Thought I saw eight quart, I must have been cross-eyed there for a minute. Pretty big sizes. So I thought I could use these and wash them out and reuse them. So also, amid all of this Ikea shopping, which is a great happy thing, I, I just, I wanna insert this into this video, you all won't mind. I know, obviously, all around the world, we are very concerned about the coronavirus, what the virus itself is doing, and what people are doing, what governments are doing. There's a lot of uncertainty. And we're making big decisions. My family, your family, I mean, you very well could be watching in a place that is already quarantined. Um, my, my area could be quarantined by the time this video comes out. So just a little real time update. So I'm filming this on Friday the 13th, March the 13th. I know this video probably won't be out for close to another week. It's just the way that my videos are. There's a delay between my filming and then editing and uploading and getting it back out to you. Now, if you want more day-to-day -day updates, tidbits, stories, you need to follow me on Instagram at Stewart. It'll be the first link in the description below. Go ahead and follow me over there so you'll see like more real time. You you would see some of this on this actual day. And so here's here's my big answer because I've been getting messages and you know Instagram messages, Facebook messages, comments. People want to know what what are what are we doing? What am I doing? How am I preparing? How do I feel about all this? Um, I remind myself my hope is in the Lord, Maker of heaven and earth. Also, this outbreak, this pandemic. Whatever it is that we are going to be living through is no surprise to the Lord and the Lord is our provider and the Lord has gone before us. Things that we need to remember, uh, even if we think back to World War II history, I was reading, you need to look up, look up here on YouTube, C.S. Lewis's talks from World War II. And you think about what the people of England and the people in various countries were living through during that time with the bomb raids and the fear. And I mean, children in America were learning bomb drills and hiding under their desk. We in America and people from other countries, we've lived through and we've made it through radical things and unexpected things before. So as I have been talking to my children about it, what my family's gonna do at this point, we're not under a government quarantine as of March 13th, but that's not to say that as of March 18th or March 20th or whatever that we won't be. But there is a confirmed case in our county. I think as of yesterday, there were 17 confirmed cases in Virginia and our government declared a state of emergency. I know that they do that in reference to getting the funding and different services they need. I know our hospitals are already asked asking that people call first before they come in so that the hospitals are ready for those who, who need it most, basically. And so what my family is doing is we are hunkering down. We're gonna be building this Ikea. I mean, hey, if you're gonna be going on a self-imposed quarantine or maybe a government mandated quarantine, have uh, 20 some, probably 30 if we count them all, boxes of Ikea furniture to build. So we will be building our furniture, lots of, time to do deep organization. We already work from home and we already school from home. So nothing much is changing in that now we will not be having outside activities for an extended period of time. What in general has been asked of people in our state, and I think pretty much every state that doesn't already have the quarantines imposed, is that people don't go into large crowds of 250 or more. I think a lot of those are shut down now anyway. And of course, by the time I'm filming this, I mean Disneyland, Disney World's closed, the NBA is closed. And again, I just know a week from now when this video comes out, all of this will be old news. But just letting you know, our family's plan in particular is that we have supplies, we have food, I have a lot of non-perishable items. I know one of the things happening in the US right now is of course toilet paper 
is being sold out everywhere. Um, we have, and in my last video, I know I got lots of comments about the amount of toilet paper I had on top of my refrigerators, and that's just my normal large family stock up. So we have our regular amount of toilet paper in the house, but you know what? If we run out of different things, the vlogs will just get more and more interesting as we continue to be more and more self-sufficient. Now I will say, back in my farmhouse days, when I had a very limited grocery budget and we were a family of up to seven, just again, very little to work with. I did cloth diapers, I cleaned with vinegar, I boiled chicken and peeled the meat from the bone and reused the broth from the boiled chicken and did a lot of homemade, Susie Homemaker Junior Homesteading sort of things. And so that's the direction I'll be heading uh, just to be as self-sufficient as possible. This experience of course does spark like I wish I was even more self-sufficient than we are because you know I like to go to those grocery stores. So it's a good wake-up call. I mean, everything could be good and clear in a few weeks, and I'm thinking, you know what? I'm gonna head more in that direction, definitely. So I wanted time to garden. I wanted time to raise more chickens. Uh, I would like to get some goats, and so I plan to have more videos coming out uh, using pantry staples and things and helping you and helping myself and sharing the journey on how to stretch what we have and make the very best of it. So I just wanted to give you that bit of a delayed update. Oh, and even with Ikea yesterday, so obviously all these beds and such cost a pretty penny. And so I prayed about it. I mean, do I go to Ikea and spend all this still? Do I not? Do I not go into the city? Do I not go into the crowds? And I just thought it's one of the happy things we already had planned. It was already on our list. It was already budgeted for. Um, I'm gonna wait on my living room stuff. I mean, again, talk about first world problems. I don't need to buy new couches right now. This can be a playroom and a furniture building room for the moment. I will be okay. Um, but I did feel, and Travis and I talked about it, and we prayed about it, it was like, you know what? We already had childcare set up. We were already doing this. Let's just go ahead and do it. And it'll just be a fun family activity for the quarantine. That's our, our joke. And I know quarantines are no joking matter as well. I do think we have to have joy and uh, we do have to have our hope in the Lord. We do have to realize, and that's where that one C.S. Lewis talk I'm thinking of is just a very good reminder. You know, none of us are promised tomorrow we have today for as long as as we are alive and well today that's what we have so we really whether it's the coronavirus whether it's lack of income whether it's other struggles um you know with relationships and different hard life situations and addictions and diseases i mean all the things that come hurling at us this is the day that the lord has made i will rejoice and be glad in it and that's all I have to offer you during this time as well, is I have Jesus. I sure hope you have Jesus. Uh, if you have a Bible, this would be a good time to put some time into reading it. If you don't have a Bible, you can read it online for free. Bible Gateway is a wonderful Bible app. And because I don't want to miss an opportunity of telling you about Jesus and how much Jesus loves you, if you're watching right now and if you have never accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you can do that right now with me. You can also get your Bible and pray. It can be a very, very simple prayer. Maybe the Lord has been tugging on your heart. Maybe you watch my videos and you are not a Christian and you don't know why you watch. I get that a lot. People are like, I watch your videos. Your voice is so calming. I feel peace when I watch you. Let me tell you, if you get anything out of my videos, if you're feeling peace, uh, if you feel calmed at all, just know that's the spirit of the Lord. That's all I got. That's the Holy Spirit. Because Jay Morrell, you know, me, myself, and I, in and of myself, I am nothing. I can do all things through Christ. Jesus is all I have going on, really. Coronavirus or not, all I have to offer you is Jesus. So right now, if you would like to rededicate your life to Christ, or if you would like to accept him for the first time, I'm gonna pray right now and you can pray right with me. And the way that we'll do this, I'll say it, you can say it at home, okay, okay. Lord Jesus, I love you. I thank you that you forgive me for all of my sins. I thank you that you come into my heart right now 
and that you live inside me. I welcome the Holy Spirit. I welcome hearing your voice, Lord. I thank you that you direct my steps and that you guide me and that you hold me through this situation and through all situations. Tomorrow is not promised, Lord, but I love you and I need you today. And whatever tomorrow brings, I want you to be there with me. I want to hear from you. I want, to, I want you to show me the way that I should go. Give me a hunger to read your word, Lord. Speak to me as I read the Bible and help me bring glory to your name. In Jesus' name, amen. There you go. It never hurts to pray. And when you don't know what to do, if you're feeling fear and panic and anxiety, I've, I've talked to a couple moms lately who've had some panic attacks. I, I understand. These are uncertain times. But no matter what I go back to, this is no surprise to Jesus. He lived through radical times himself. Many people, I mean, we, we have lived in, we can say glory days in some, to some extent. I mean, we have been very blessed in America, um, but we're not guaranteed anything. So we best know the Lord. We best be walking with him. Um, if we fear anything, we should fear the Lord. <laughs> uh, but he is holy, he is mighty, he loves us and he is here for us. And we need to be praying. I need to be praying more. You need to pray protection over your family. You need to read your Bible. I need to pray protection over my family. I need to be reading my Bible. So back to my Corona virus update. Um, after today, I do have to go out today. I am just going myself and I'm going to pick up another Walmart grocery pickup order for some more things I needed. Um, so far in my area as of today, they have not been canceling orders. Now other friends of mine, one of my friends in New Jersey, her order's been canceled. Um, and I'm sure a week from now, by the time this goes up, I mean if things progress, um, yeah, it's just similar things could be happening. Uh, or hey! Maybe there's nothing going on when this video comes out, and that's great too. Um, I'm picking up my grocery pickup order. Also, Tractor Supply has chicks in stock, and we wanted more chickens, so I'm gonna go pick up some chickens. But the only thing different, I'm getting them a little earlier than I would have gotten them, because I wanted to give us a few more weeks to get settled in the house. But I'm like, hey, if we're gonna be quarantined, I need to have extra chickens. Um, and we use them for their eggs. So if I get chicks now and it's March, by midsummer, those new chicks should be laying. We are getting eggs every day from our chickens now. Um, but I'm also, I'm gonna get a bunch that are um, already, they know that they're female, they cost a dollar more, but then I'm gonna get some of their like free run where you don't know if they're male or female. And I might end up getting a couple roosters in there. And now normally I wouldn't care about roosters, but the little mama prepper in me is thinking, well, if I need to raise some chickens, I mean, I have a very funny chicken butchering story I can tell you guys if you'd like to hear it. I might end up with five roosters, mm -hmm. or maybe I'll end up with one or two or none, but it's worth a shot. Um, so far in our area, we can still order things. So there's that. Um, I was open up and we've been ordering all kinds of stuff with moving. And I would say half to three quarters, you know, it says made in China on the box. So what do you do? You know, what do you do? I, I've, I've been wiping things down with bleach wipes. I, oh, this is funny. This is my other little coronavirus update. Um, I'm not selling you. I'm not selling you essential oils, <laughs> I'm telling you. I bought probably almost a year ago from my friend Stacy. I got my essential oil starter kit and I haven't even opened it because I thought, well, I need time to read about this and learn about this. And with all the household cleaners and stuff getting sold out, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna open that kit, I'm gonna start diffusing thieves and I'm gonna start cleaning with it and I have. That's all I got for you so far. I don't know much else about it. Um, 
I just know it's really convenient. I got this glass bottle from the essential oils company. <laughs> I've got this one thing of thieves to clean with and it's one little microscopic cat pool that goes in the glass bottle and then it's like two or three cups of water and you can clean everything with it. Uh, don't even know. I know my essential oil, my oily mamas will get me. Don't even know if this stuff really works, but I am going to be able to try it out now. So I guess in anything, I mean, as long as we are home and have pretty much what we need, I am looking forward to the time now to read read my essential oil guide and read my homesteading books and get my little chicken farm going and get a garden in. I mean, there's a lot of things I've wanted to put time into that I have not been able to put time into. So I'm thinking I'm going to put some time into some things. And I'm also thinking when this is over, I'm going to reevaluate some things. You're probably thinking the same thing too. Like I'm thinking I should have that whole room, a whole like cold storage room in the basement full of things that are canned. Should It should already be done. What have I been doing with my life? And so just know if you're thinking the same thoughts, I'm right there with you. I do have canning supplies and I did used to do canning. So yeah, we're just gonna stay tuned. You're gonna have moving vlogs. Uh, you're gonna have some zombie apocalypse videos. <laughs> um, we're just gonna have a real good time, but we're gonna keep our hope in the Lord through doing it. Okay, I hope this all encouraged you. Uh, stay tuned for our next video when we start building some of this stuff. Yes and amen. Thank goodness we have the internet. I'll be praying for you, you pray for me. I will talk with you in those comments below. I love you, Jesus loves you, God bless you, stay safe, stay healthy, drink your water, wash your hands, bye.